It is Aston Villa 1, Manchester United 2, Manchester United collecting 3 points at Villa Park as we majority of the time always do because Villa Park has been a good place to us, you know, in the past, you know, the Fergie years and at times during the post-Fergie years. But yesterday it was very important because Manchester United needed to just show that they're serious for the type for the top four race and trying to get into that Champions League position, which they did. And big up to them for getting that free point because it was going to be a tough game. And it was a tough game for Manchester United, especially for the fact that they took the lead. And then they'll go then during the second half conceded to be to for Aston Villa to equalize against Manchester United. But then Manchester United finding that strength. To somehow get that winning goal. And and Scott McTominay was the one who got the winning goal. What a match for today. What a lovely start for me. Hopefully, Ivory Coast can sweeten it and make it a lovely day for me. But guys, today, Manchester United did what they had to do. They did the business and now they're going home. You look at overall, you look at the first 45 minutes. The first half, Manchester United it was a good half for Manchester United. Although Aston Villa came out strong in the first 15 minutes, going at it, trying to open us up, especially on our right-hand side where Diego, Diogo Dallo was there. You got um, Ramsey and, of course, Moreno tacking strongly on, a, on, a, on their left-hand side. But Manchester United did well. Diego, Diego Dallo, what a player, man. Straight up. Defended solid. Going forward solid. Like, crucial tackles he was hella involved in that game in the first 45 minutes the first goal coming very early for, for roughly around 15 40 minutes into the game our boy rasmish hoylin who continues five goals in five and of coming from a lovely 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 Head on from Maguire. Maguire heading the ball down for Rasmus Hoyland to finish it off well, tapping it in and making it 1 0 for Manchester United. And at halftime, we was delighted. We said, Boys, do not mess this thing up. Take home. Don't allow Aston Villa to come out the blocks and go at us in the first 20 minutes. And guess what? Manchester United allowed Aston Villa to come out the blocks and allowed to come at them. Aston Villa throwing the kitchen sink at Manchester United in that second half very early. Eventually, getting that goal. And I thought the second half, it was, wasn't the best start for Manchester United. But then, Aston Villa got that equaliser because it was coming. Douglas Luiz with a tap in, with a low driven cross. From his colleagues, and of course, giving a little shimmy, shimmy, a hey, shimmy, 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 ah, kind of shake. Like, and I was thinking, you ain't gonna be shaking none of that crap because at the end of the day, you're gonna be shaking ro ro sorrows, bruv. You're gonna be shaking a lot of sorrows, and he did because Manchester United was enjoying Villa because Villa was our paradise, you know. We was in that Villa enjoying, you know, a super goal and a super header from a super cross by Diogo Dalot, who had a man of the match performance. And headed by Scotty Too Hot, Scott McTominay, getting that winning header. Big up to Scott McTominay as well, man. Um, coming on to make a difference and make a change, man. Full time for Manchester United to get that win. It means so much, guys. And I'm so happy and I'm so delighted because we needed three points today and we delivered. We showed at times fight and to close the game off. And I know Ten Hag made some changes towards the end to invite that could have invited a lot of pressure, but it didn't. It. it paid off at Manchester United winning that game. 2 1, guys. It's been good. It's been good. It's been good. Man, the match today, guys, I have to give it to. First of all, let's not be doing the match. Player wise, I'm going to look at players. You look at players like Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford had opportunities, ample times to be one on one with defenders. But I have to say, one on one, Marcus Rashford is trash. He's Trashford. He's not good enough when it comes to 1v1. He gives, he sells it too much. And it's just easy to defend off of him. Horashmich Hoyland, another good game. But after scoring that goal and as well in the breaks, they just never looked for him. They just don't know him. Man United play. Do you not know Rasmus Hoyland? Do you not know Rasmus? You don't. Bruno Fernandes had a, a poor game in my opinion. Andre Onana, when he conceded that goal, he still stayed like a statue. Casemiro, decent. McTominay come on and do the work. Maguire had a very good game. I cannot fault him. Mainu as well. And Dalo. 
Man the match today, guys, I have to be with the Diego Dalo. It could have went to easy go to Maguire, but I go in with Diego Dalo and don't give the match Marcus Rashford. But in this case, guys, this has been your man the ma I mean your match reaction from your boy Ivor in Spice. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts on today's game. What do you think it was your man of the match? You don't give the match because I caught a 2 1 victory in my watch long and we did it! We did it! Yes, it is, guys. To you next, to you, see you later, 7.45 p.m. for the African Cup of Nations finals. Come on, Ivory Coast, and we'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. for the catch-up to digest and analyze this game. Till next time, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it red united. Smash that like button, share. God bless. Peace and vamos!